and we are going to be demonstrating the chin rest. The chin rest is something that I teach prior to teaching my dog a dumbbell hold and retrieve. It is an exercise that I shape, and shaping is beneficial to this process as my click hold and retrieve program is all about shaping the hold. So the chin rest is a good starting point. If you haven't taught shaping before, this will help you get comfortable with what it is. It is a relatively easy exercise to train your dog. And I like to shape it by shaping, you allow the dog to try different behaviors to figure out what behavior it is you're looking for. So through this process, you end up with a dog that is a problem solver and can think on their feet. So I'm gonna show you how I go about training this. Now Pounce does know uh, she does have a chin rest, so it's going to go fairly quickly, but I will show you the steps on how you train it. Okay, great, good girl. Now I have a table that's got a whole bunch of treats on it. She could steal one right now if she wanted to, but she has impulse control. I've trained her that the treats belong to me and you get the treats by ignoring them or giving me the behavior that I'm looking for. And this is a really important part in your relationship, especially when you're training with food. If your dog is trying to steal treats or mugging you and trying to get the treat from you, then you're missing a very important component. So then you have to work on it's your choice game and teach your dog without using any adversive methods that don't, you know, I will give you the treat if you back away from the treat. So this again is another shaping exercise, which is something that you could start with as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a treat and when I present my hand, I'm going to tr put the treat underneath my hand. And Pounce is probably going to place her head on my hand, at which point I'm going to mark it. So you can mark with either a clicker or you could mark with uh, your marker word. So now your dog may just, when you do this, they may just look at your hand. And if they look at your hand, mark it and reinforce because you have to teach, you have to have a starting point and build up to what you want. So if you wait for the dog to touch your hand and they don't know what it is you're asking for, you might actually be building in frustration. So remember to micro shape and don't wait for big pictures. Mark the little pictures. All right, present the hand, treat underneath. Yes. Now that I've got that, the next thing I'm going to do is not put the treat underneath here, just present my hand when she places her, her head in it, I will mark it. Yes. Yes. And then the next thing I'm going to do, and again, remember she knows this. This may take you all these steps. It may take you, you know, a week of training to achieve what I'm going to show you today. Now I'm going to present my hand and look for a little bit of duration. Yes. So once I've achieved that, now I'm going to change my position and I'm going to stand up and ask for the chin rest. Yes. And if you want to add a word to it, you can. You can say chin, yes because I do use a chin on my baby gates on the go out and the chin means to rest your head on the stanchion. So you could start adding that in. Chin, yes. Chin, yes. All right, now I'm going to start looking for some position changes. So I'm going to present my hand and ask her to come up and sit. Up, sit, up, 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 sit. Put your dog in a stand. 
Come, come. Yes. Yay, you did great. Good girl, good girl. Sit. So once I've achieved position changes and my dog can walk forward with the chin rest in place, then these are the components that what I would do is be using my dumbbell. So once my dog is taking the dumbbell and I want to start moving with the dumbbell, that's when a lot of dogs will just spit the dumbbell out. First steps with the dumbbell are always difficult. So if I can have the chin rest and the dumbbell in my dog's mouth and be moving along, come, 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 yes, like this, that is going to take away the dog wanting to spit the dumbbell out. So this chin rest is just one of a few exercises that I work on before I teach my dog the hold and retrieve. I do have a video out called the click hold and retrieve and by click hold I mean that it is a non-force method to teaching the hold and retrieve. So there's no ear pinch, there's no ear squeeze, it's all trained positively, but there are so many steps that I take to teach this program that I actually put a DVD out on it because I find that there's just so many people out there that have missed so many steps and their dogs are mouthing and hitting the dumbbell with their feet and a lot of really bad behaviors that once those behaviors are in place, they're very difficult to get rid of.